Hey, Kyle here with a special little video. Um, in my last video, I showed a little sneak peek on bullet holes. Today, I'll, for this video, I'll be showing you how to make these said bullet holes. Um, I use the plastic glue to sort of fill in the screwed up hole. It's not perfect, but you won't really be able to tell when it's on the table. Um, I painted all the other bullet holes. I just put a little bit of paint to where the gray was from the plastic, including with the green. Looks really good. Sort of why I've set these in the pattern that they're at is that it's driving by and someone with a storm bolt or something of a similar caliber, maybe around 50 cal, just sort of shot it while it was driving by. Of course, it didn't go through and the crew was just fine, but they never got around to actually fixing the holes and that's why they're still there. Now, all you really need to make bullet holes is two drill bits. A very small drill bit. Give me one second and I'll figure out the size. The size of drill bits that I use are, let's see, the size of drill bits that I use. Ah, sorry about that. I use 5 64ths and a 3 16th. I have a little box full of them. So a 5 64 and a 3 16th. Now basically, I'm going to, where should I put a bullet hole? I'll put one right in the front area here. Sort of off center, maybe like right actually I might, I'm gonna probably put one another one on the side here just to sort of complete the chain or should I damn this is a hard decision um, I'm just gonna stick one on the hood here about mm, say about right here we want to keep it a little off centered and pretty much I don't have a hand drill so I just do it with my fingers Sort of score a small hole at about where you want it. Clean it up a little bit so there's a little dot. That's where your hole is going to be. So you, if you don't have a hand drill, you can do it with your fingers. And you slowly, slowly spin it. Letting stuff get out of the way. And then keep doing it, and then at one point when you get to the other side, it'll sort of get really a lot of uh, resistance. Like, get to the point to where there's a lot of resistance. Oh yeah, it'll be to the point where there's a lot of resistance, and just keep spinning it, and to the point where you get through. And then sort of just hold on to it, don't let it spin and pull on it, and then it'll get rid of any threads that are inside. And then sort of make sure it spins freely. Clean it up, and there's your basically where your bullet hole is going to be. Now you're going to take this big one. You do not apply, you apply little to no pressure. And make sure that the tip is very sharp. Try to get to where you can get some lighting. Essentially, you very carefully apply little to no pressure, spin it on that, and you get that sort of indentation. Do it a little more. You basically don't apply any pressure to it, you just let it spin freely. Take this to fix the hole, get the debris out of there. Ooh, there's a little debris still in there. There we go. And there's a bullet hole. Very simple. Of course, you can use different cut, different sizes, but uh, don't put any, don't put too much pressure because that's why I had to fill in the hole on this side here because I did put a little bit too much pressure and it dug in too deep. It was basically a hole the size of this end here, right there. So be careful. 
Uh, I'd recommend practicing on like a spare piece, like if you have like a spare plate or something. Practice on that, as it's very tricky. And uh, that's how you make a decent bullet hole. Um, so on this, put the hatch on and the driver. Looks pretty good. I put the little emblem on the front. I just glued it on. I'm just going to paint it over. Uh, I might paint it uh, gunmetal and then go over with some wash to tone it down. But that looks pretty good. I'm always tinkering with my stuff. Let's go paint the smokestacks black. Or black and then dry brush. So, I hope this uh, helps you in your conversions. Um, this is Kyle X Pie and my Space Marine Rhino. Uh, signing out. Bye.